This video is brought to you by cdkeyoffice.com, the best and cheapest website for buying digital games, CD keys for Windows and Office products, and gift cards on a discount. Simply make an account using your Facebook or Google account, use the code FOXY for 20% off, and activate your product and enjoy your purchase. Go to the link on top of the description and start shopping on a discount today. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream with a crappy PC. How to stream with a low-end PC without any lag or stutter or freezing. I've been testing settings for quite a while now and I know that you guys are on a budget and you don't have the best in-class hardware available to you but you still want to stream and game. This is why I dedicated my, my previous two days to actually testing settings to make sure you guys can actually stream these settings that I'm going to be showing you guys today without any lag, stutter or freeze, no matter what PC you will have using Streamlabs OBS. Before we start today's video, leave a like on today's video so you can help it reach as many people as possible. Keep watching this video till the end because you are not going to want to miss this because after watching this video, you will not need to watch any other video about this topic ever again. This will solve your problem. Let's get right into the video. So once you go to Google and type in what resolution with what bitrate. Depending on what bitrate you choose, you can choose a resolution. So the quality is actually so the quality actually stays relevant with the bitrate. Now bitrate is basically the measurement of how fast your PC is actually encoding the video and sending it out to stream. And the better the PC, the more kilobits per second your PC can actually handle while gaming or actually streaming. But if you're watching this video, chances are you have a slow PC, so let me show you how to apply these settings. Obviously open Streamlabs OBS, go to the settings button right here, which is this gear logo right there, this window should appear, and then go ahead and navigate to the output. Make sure this one says advanced, make sure you're on the streaming tab and for the encoder right now, you're gonna have to choose between software and hardware. So basically software will use your CPU and hardware will use your actual graphics card. So it's basically the same logic. If your graphics card could handle a good amount of bitrate, then use your graphics card. And this is generally the best option for a lot of people, so I'm going to be sticking with it. Check in for stream and service encoder settings, do not check anything else, and then go to the rate control, make sure this one says VBR, which is variable bitrate. So basically it will give you, so basically once you choose VBR, it will give you this field right now to fulfill. It says bitrate, so this is where you're gonna type in your bitrate. Okay, so depending on what or how old your hardware is, you're gonna choose accordingly. So if you have old hardware, if you know that you have old hardware, then I wouldn't recommend for you to skip this interval right here. Keep it between 1200 and 15,000 kilobits per second. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna pretend like I have an i3, I'm gonna put 1250 so that's down in the middle the crf keep that at 50 and for the cpu usage keep that bad boy at very fast or super fast for the profile keep that at high and then go ahead and navigate to the video tab for the base canvas resolution basically select your monitor's native resolution and for the output scale filter you're gonna have to choose between these two resolutions right over here that matches you're gonna have to choose between these two resolutions right here that match your actual bitrate. So my bitrate is 1250 so I can definitely choose these ones. But if you have a bitrate in this range with 1200 and 1500 and you want to stream you can choose 1080 and you can, you can choose 1080 times 720 but, but I should warn you the bitrate is way too low for 720p so the quality will not be as good as real 720p the bitrate would be missing but you can definitely choose 720p without any problem if you have a bitrate in this range so the downscale filter keep that bad boy at lang source because it's going to give you the best quality and for the common fps values keep this bad boy at 30 anyways guys this will wrap it up for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this video helped you out if it did then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video so you can help it so you can help it reach as many people as possible and possibly have them out hit the subscribe button because i'm on my way to 5 thousand subscribers and all help is appreciated and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye